What's up, it's you? For today's video, we're a full Revival Blessing team. Revival Blessing is a new move which allows you to actually revive a Pokemon that has fainted to 50% of their health and bring them back. The catch it, it only has one PP. Now, there's two Pokemon in the game that get that, and that is Rabscar and Pormon. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to make a team based around these Pokemon. So I'll have two normals and two shinies to have as a team of four and see what it's going to do here. So my first battle here, this one's on the Poker Portal. We have a battle against Tylo P, and we have a Garganacle lead. My first Pokemon is going to be a poor mod. If you enjoy the team teams, people, if you want to support the channel, make sure you do hit that like button. So we got a special poor mod here, only on Pit channel, and then it's got the following moves. We've got Revival Blessing, Focus Mist, Metronome, and Thunder from Down Under. Now, this is max special attack and max speed, modest nature, uh, Volt Absorb is the ability, and Leper Berry as the item. So I managed to land Focus Blast, big shock and surprise there. And Garganuckle is going to live that with a sturdy and a weakness policy. Now it's going to go for the Iron Defense here, but it's fine because I can take it out the next turn. But then I thought to myself for a second, wait, I, I can't control myself. I've got to press Metronome for the disrespect. I got Metronome right and it got Dynamic Punch and it landed. It's crazy. So that is the end of the Garganuckle there. They've got to be salty after that one. So a solid, solid start to the battle there. Now the next Pokemon. It's got to be Lady Gaga and it's S part. Oh, I see, because of the wig. I understand now. So they're going to go for Protect. I was like, okay, straight away, I definitely know they're going to have a speed boost set here. And it's probably the most definitely going to be uh, Stored Power, because that's a, you know, that's basically the uh, competitive set. And it's very, very strong too. So it's going to get a plus one of speed there. Obviously, I'm going to outspeed. Here comes Stored Power. Now, Stored Power was at a low base power there of only like uh, 40 from the speed boost and the initial base power. I went for the Thunder and it's going to miss, which really, really sucks. Now Espartha is going to get another speed boost and now they're going to go for a car mine. So suddenly stored power is going to be like 2, 4, 6, 8. It's going to be 100 base power. So it's crazy strong right now. I did manage to get a thunder off there and it did a pretty good amount of damage there to Espartha. So I was quite happy about that. Now, I'd say on their EV spread here, they've got left. As I'd say it's probably like max health, max defense. Uh, that's sort of like the meta set to run on it so it can take defensive, uh, you know, so take some uh, physical hits and heal it off a little bit. So that's the end of poor mod there. They may even have sub too. I'm not really sure. So this is Partha. There's only one Pokemon on my team that I can swap in here. I mean, I've only got three remaining, and that is going to be the Rabscar. My other poor mod is going to get absolutely destroyed. So this Rabscar, uh, let me check this one up. This was a Revival Blessing one. I know that surprised you. Trick Room, Bug Buzz, and Extra Century Flinch Scumbag set. So here comes the Stored Power. It doesn't even scratch the surface there. I'm going to go for the Trick Room, and Rabscar is going to easy live that. And now I've got full speed control. I guess they didn't really have much to hit me. I'm trying to think what other moves. Maybe Dazzling Gleam. That would have fainted me. So this is really bulky. It's max health and max special attack, quiet nature. Ability is going to be uh, synchronized and item is going to be Leopard Berry. So that's the end of Lady Gaga there. Now the next Pokemon is going to be King Gamp. It's called the Pie because, it is, it's, on, because it's on a throne. Is that why it's called the Pokemon? <laughs> what the heck? So this uh, this could be a problem. So now it's going to go for Sucker Bunch. I went for a Revival Blessing there, which is uh, really good. I did expect it to try and go for that. And what I'm going to do is revive the first Pormont on my team. So with Leper Berry, you can use Revival or Blessing again. So that means you got another one to use there. And then it's going to be used up. However, I did have a good Pokemon which could really, really abuse it. So it could be absolutely unlimited. But we'll get to that in a sec. So poor Mod number two is going to come in here. It's going to go for a Coat Tower Cleave there. And I'm going to take that one reasonably well. Coming off uh, it's such big bait state. So I've got Revival Blessing, Mac Punch, Double Shock, Ice Punch, and Terror Electric. This is more of my competitive set. And guess what? That one shot to with a crit there. So that is the end of uh, the Pope there. So that's uh, half the team gone. So things are going swimmingly. Next Pokemon we got here is uh, Iron Valley and it's called Body Pillow. What is going through this person's mind when they made these nicknames? 
Anyway, so they've got their quite drive booster energy there, and they're going to get a speed rise. Like, oh, I'm not outspeeding it. So I went for Mac Punch just to get some sort of damage off against this thing, and now they're going to go for Spirit Break. It's going to take Poor Mod out, but I didn't lose my Spirit. So I've got three more Pokemon left. I think, okay, I've got to bring, I've got to make something happen here. So bringing in Rapska, num oh no, this is number one Rapska. I've got Trick Room option here, and it's going to go for Spirit Break. I might live this one because it's quite bulky, and I did. I was like, nice, that's really, really good. I'm going to get a special attack drop which isn't too fun, and now I'm going to go for the Trick Room. So I sort of want that speed control here against the uh, Galate. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Revival Blessing, and I'm going to bring back the poor Mod to the Spaders. So it's a bit of a troll team, but I haven't even got to the main strategy yet. So I've brought back that poor Mod. Here comes another Spirit Break, and that's the end of Ravska. But it doesn't matter. I can bring it back again. Now, obviously, when you bring a Pokemon back after Revival Blessing, it is at uh, half health. It's not a full health. But still, that's super duper overpowered. So I went for the Thunder from down under, and it's and the Iron Valiant's going to go for a Sword Dance. That was super, super overconfident play there. Like, they were completely counting out my special set. Because Thunder took it out there. It wasn't even a credit. So that's the end of the uh, the body pillow. What is going on? Next is your boy Toe Fungus. And that is a Breloom. That, oh, that's absolutely disgusting. So now I'm going to swap the Toe. What is going through the head? Just so swapping out the uh, poor mod, going into Rapska, and uh, here comes a bit of fungus. That's going to hood my uh, Rapska to sleep. So this is the most annoying broken set here. Now, the item is Sticky Barb. I know what you're thinking, but it's all part of the Pit Right strategy. So what we're going to do here, I've got the move set, Revival Blessing, Rest, and Sleep Talk. So if you keep Revival Blessing on one health, same with any other move with Sleep Talk, it'll never run out of Revival Blessings when you do it through Sleep Talk. So you can essentially go to sleep, use Sleep Talk, and then use Revival Blessing, and then it won't use that one PP up, right? It'll just continually be infinite over and over again till you run out of the rest. But then you've got some other Pokemon with Revival Blessing as well. So it's virtually unlimited here. I could have brought like another two Rapska if I wanted to, but of course we'd never get through a battle. So bringing that back there and Sticky Barb is on there, of course, if the opponent's like, well, I'm not going to do any damage to you, uh, you won't be able to go to sleep. Well, we will be able to go to sleep because Sticky Barb does damage at the end of the turn, which is really, really cool. So Galaxy Brain, Sticky Barb, Rapska. In comes our Toxapex and uh, it's, yeah, it's called Stall. So I wonder what they're going to do here now that they've, uh, you know, obviously losing the battle. So I've got my full team here. Uh, Toxpex type to store is going to go for a, uh, a Toxic on my Rapska, which is fine. That's all good. I've got extra Sentry on the set, so it is going to do a fair bit of damage. Um, I've got Synchronized Super. That obviously won't affect the uh, Toxpex there because it's already a Poison type. So now I'm thinking to myself, well, I could go into my... I could go into my other poor mine. Uh, Extra Sentry is definitely not going to faint it. And they might try and go for, like, recover spam and those sort of things. So now the Toxpex is going to swap out. And in comes Toe Fungus. I'm like, all right, fair enough. This is going to be super effective here. I, I should be able to easily one-shot this. Uh, the Breloom has got a Focus Sash. I'm like, all right, fair enough. So obviously they're just sacking uh, the Breloom. I mean, I I'd sack off the Toe Fungus too if that should be. Anyway, so Rapska's going to take some Toxic damage here. From before, I'm like, well, I could go for Extra Sentry. It's like, you know what? What? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I control them. So what I did here is I went into Poor Mutt. It's not like I can't bring this Poor Mutt back with a Revival Blessing anyway. So I had a plan, right? And I was going to execute it. So here comes a Bullet Seed. That wouldn't have been effective against my uh, Rapska anyway. I don't think they had much to hit me. I thought they might uh, try, uh, you know, just doing like a Rock Tomb, but they didn't. So that faded off my Poor Mutt. So since it's on one health, I couldn't help myself. I went for a Metronome. They're going to go for a Sword Dance here against my Poor Mutt again. Didn't they learn the first time from this set that they can't underestimate? Made this. I'm going to go for the Metro over here, and I've popped a flare bit that is going to roast away the Toe Fungus, and that, my friends, is the end of the battle, because guess what happened here? We had a baby bottle, and a big, fat, juicy one that it was. I hope you enjoyed the first battle, people. Man, that was salty from that Metro and Poor Mott. That was, like, absolute, like, pure salt. Like, you can taste nothing but salt there. If this video doesn't get alive for that, I don't know what does. Next battle here, we have against Gwen, I believe. Uh, their username was Lizard, or Lizard so I'm not really sure, but I did do this one on stream, and it was pretty funny. Wow, this is like deja vu. We've, so we've got Garganackle, and we've got the baby. It's called Otis. Why is it called Otis? I know Otis is a brand of elevators. Oh, it's the glasses. Oh, I get that because of the... I, I think it's the glasses. I'm not sure, but it's like Otis glasses. I think it is. It's not like a brand. I, I, I don't think I've worn it before, but I know that it is a brand of glasses. I've went for the big metronome bubble beam, and that is the end of the baby salt Pokemon. Actually, it's the middle stage. 
That was like deja vu. It's like, oh, it's going back in time, you know? Next Pokemon is Mufasa. I think they might be rolling a Lion King team here. Here comes Trailblaze on my pull-up, boosting uh, the speed here. I'm going to go for the Focus Mess here. I can tell you what, people. I don't want to spoil the ending of uh, Lion King, but that is the end of Mufasa. Got trampled by a Focus Mess. Oh, this is cruel, people. This is mean. So that's two Pokemon. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, Sneasel. This team is all weak to fighting type moves. I was like, wow, I might be able to get a, a, a Pip Knight specially uh, uh, sweet with Pormon. So I went for the Focus Miss. I lift the Ice Punch, and that's the end of Sneasel. That's three Pokemon down right now. I'm thinking, man, I might be able to get this, you know. If I faint, I could always Revival Blessing it back. Next Pokemon is going to be Lycanroc. I was like, great. This will have no guard. This is perfect. And then a miss. Like, oh, it doesn't have it. It's got, like, Vi Vital Spirit or something like that. They're going to pop a disrespect reversal, and that is the end of Pormon. Oh, I was close, people, but it's not Ogre. I can go into Pormon again. You know, I'm going to sack off the competitive set, and I'm going to go for Revival Blessing, because I'm going to bring it back. Now, this was kind of cruel, I've got to admit, this battle. Like, I don't think this... Uh, seriously, I don't think my opponent is ever going to want to seek a Revival Blessing Pokemon after this battle. Just, just watch and see. So I'm going to go through Revival Blessing there. I'm going to bring back the other Pormon. Now, they knew what was up there. They went for the taunt, but since they were slower, I was able to get that one going. Now, I don't want to touch this like a rock at all. I'm going to bring back in the other poor mod and go for Focus Miss again after I swap this wrap screen just to see what it's going to use. It's going to use counters. I'm like, all right, if they've got counter and reversal, they definitely have Focus Ash, right? So obviously they're relying on being on one health and with reversal and using counter at the same time. So a cool strategy there. Uh, they're going to go for Rock Slide there. Obviously their only coverage move. I'm able to live that one and the sand is going to be no more. Landing the Focus Miss, which is awesome and that is almost down. It's going to have the Focus Sash there. I know that the Rock Slide is coming here. I was actually low-key hoping that it would miss and then they're going to go for a reversal, which is fair enough there. That's the end of Pormont, but it's not over, people. I'm going to bring Pormont back. We're, we're getting this Pormont sweet one way or the other. There's more than one way to uh, skin a, uh, a Lycan Rock. So anyway, we're going to go for Revival Blessing again. This is going to bring Pormont back again. I think this is the third time here. I'm going to make a count how many times I brought it back. So wait, second or third time? Anyway, uh, here comes Reversal again. No way I'm leaving that. It's super, super Super powerful. So bye bye Pormont. It's all good. We've got a couple of uh, a golden dung beetles in the back there. So bring it back on Pormont. I can't help myself. I have to go for the Metrodome KO here. Watch it go, people. I got raw instead of oh instead of an attacking move. You wouldn't read about it. So out goes like rock. I am a little bit salty, but I'm also uh, quite a glad too. And in comes the Dunsparce. This is where the problem started to happen, right? Because I thought. You know what, if I was running a team that was all weak to normal, it would probably cool down the ghost type terror, right? And as I was thinking that, out comes up the Dun Sparse of Terror Ghost. I'm like, no! I'm going to have to rely on Thunder now. So obviously that won't affect the uh, the Dun Sparse. Dun Sparse is going to go for a curse. Now, since it did Terror into a ghost type Pokemon, that's going to give it the effects of curse on a ghost type instead of boosting its attack and defense and dropping its speed. So really, really cool little strategy to go for there. Uh, and they've also got leftovers for a bit of recovery. Now, poor boy, it isn't the hardest hitter, especially with a special set, but I just want to see what I could do. So I went for the Thunder. Good damage. Like, okay, cool. I can take out the next turn. And now the Dun Sparse is going to have rest. So a good combination there of Curse and Rest there. Um, very, very nice. Um, actually, I've done that on a couple of my Pokemon before. Very fun to do. So um, unfortunately for my poor little poor mod, it's going to fate the Curse. So it's going to fate for like the fourth time here. So I'm going to have to bring it back again. I know I've got that Lycan Rock. I've got that Lycan Rock done like a dinner. All I could do is go press the A button and go for Metro. Now, the next Pokemon we're bringing is going to be Rabskull. We've already seen this before. Um, they're going to go for Curse again. So Curse seems to be their main form of attacking and then you know, stalling out, I guess. I think that's uh, the whole premise of the set. So uh, now I'm going to go for a Revival Blessing on my Rabskull. I've used all of them after this, uh, this one. So I've still got one to go here. So when you think about it on this team, without me using the Sleep Rest Talk uh, Rabskull, I've got two, four, I've got six times I can bring back a Pokemon. That's without the sleeper in a rest talk set. So that's, that's like brutal. So anyway, uh, we're going to get hit by the cursor. And what I'm going to do is swap it out and go back into Pormon again. I'm not giving up, people. I've, you watch this, though. This this could possibly be the most heartbreaking moment in Pokemon history. Like, you wouldn't read about it. You watch this, right? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to rumble. So I've got Terra Electric on this. I'm like... They're at full health now. They're definitely going to go for Curse here. That's what I would do. I'm sure they're going to use it. I'm going to go for the Terra Thunder here. Now, Terra Thunder should do around half health to them. 
and then if they go for curse, they'll actually faint themselves, and that'll be the end of the done spots. And then like and roll left. I'm like, okay, here we go, people. I landed the thumb. I'm like, yes, this is it, people. This is it. I've got the sweep. Here it comes. And guess what? Does over half health bring? Get to paralyze. And I was like, wait a second. Wait, wait a second. And then they got paralyzed when they went for the curse that turn. <laughs> I got denied so hard. Oh no! And now since they're half elf, they know that they're not they're definitely not gonna go for curse now because they're gonna keep going for roost, right? So this is an absolute disaster. So I went for the thunder and of course he lived there and the Dunspars doesn't go for a roost this time, it goes for hyper drill. At this stage in the battle, people, I'm heartbroken, I'm salty, a grown man is about to cry, and that's the end of Portland. But I'm not giving up, people. We don't give up on Pimp Life Channel, right? We go we strive for the memes. So uh, this, the Dunsparce, is... Uh, I, I could actually take it out now with the uh, Rapsky, but I didn't want to, right? I, I want to get this sweep. So we're going to go for a Revival Blessing again, and we're going to bring it all the way back. Now, the only problem here that I've got is that the original Paul Mott that went for Terror Electric is not Terror Electric anymore. So it's not going to get that really, really huge hit off with Thunder. So I'm going to have to get, like, a lot of repeated hits there to try and take the Dunsparce out. So swapping out the Rapsky... It's all good. Now, Rapsko is out of Revival Blessings, so the only Pokemon left now with Revival Blessings is going to be the Rapsko number two, the Rest Sleep Tour one. Oh, wait, I believe I might have... No, uh, sorry, I've got some Revival Blessings left on this poor mod here. But before that happens, I'm going to go for a Thunder. Yeah, it's not really doing the most amazing damage in the world. Here comes Hyper Drill. Hyper Drill does a lot of damage and takes my poor mod out. So they did have a way of actually doing some decent damage outside of Curse, so it does have Hyper Drill... Uh, which is a normal type move there. So it wasn't completely a passive Pokemon with Curse. Next Pokemon is Rabska number two here. Something's got to give here, my friend. So swapped it in, swapped it out, and went into Rabska again. So I just want to see what they're going to do. I think they're going to go for a Curse, but they got paralyzed. Like, all right, fair enough. I, I mean, that was a good paralyze, but the one before was just like, it's like a massive salt field there after that. I was salty as heck. So anyway, we're going to swap the Rabska out again here and swap back in the other Rabska. The reason I'm doing this is I can't use Rest at the moment. I want to take some damage there. So this turn, they're going to go for a roost, of course, and Rabsker is going to take some sticky barb damage. Now, the only way to get rid of this Dunsparce um, is basically I need to get repeated Thunder hits and I need a Paralyze. If I can get that, which I'm kind of certain that I could actually get because I got it before on the other one, um, I just I just have to sort of wait this one out. So, of course, Dunsparce to do some damage at the start um, has to go for that Curse. Well, they don't have to, but to do enough damage uh, to these Rabsker, it's going to be really helpful to go for Curse and then hit me with uh, repeated Hyper Drills, right? So, this is actually getting kind of nasty here. I've got my Rabsker. I've taken the uh, I've taken the curse, right? Now I'm going to take the sticky barb here. So that's nearly put me down to half health and I'm going to be asleep this turn, which is fine. So I'm asleeping and now I've gone for the sleep talk here on the, the Dunsparce and I got rest. I'm like, you wouldn't read about it. That's really, really bad. So that's potentially one important turn there that I missed, but the Dunsparce got paralyzed. I'm like, oh, that was so lucky there. The only bad thing is I am going to get hit by the sticky barb there um, at the end of the turn. So it is going to put me on sort of a low amount of health there as well as the curse hitting me too. So the next curse will take my Rabsker out that is uh, virtually invincible. So I'm like, oh no, this is really bad. Like, i, I got to make this happen. So like, please, I need that revival blessing. I need to bring back the poor one. So I went for the sleep talk here, people. This is important stuff. And I got it. I'm like, yes, that's awesome. So I got the final revival blessing before my Rabsker is going to faint. Also to note, one thing too, we will deep into the battle here. I'm talking real deep, not to just a little bit at the edge, real deep. So anyway, uh, the Dunsparce is going to get some more help back there uh, thanks to the leftovers, and it is going to be fainting this time to the rest and the sticky, sorry, the curse and the sticky bomb. I don't know how you faint the rest, but that's the end of that anyway. So I've got another Rabska left, and I've got my poor mod, but we're trying to get this poor mod sweep. It's important. So we're going to go into the poor mod again here. I'm, 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 I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to get this dub. So I've got one revival Blessing. I'm like, wait, I can use it again. So I went for a revival blessing again here, people. Only on Pimino Shell. And we're gonna go for that on the uh the Rabska, right? Or the like Rabska or Pormont, one of these two Pokemon. So I brought back 
the Rapsker again, the Invincible one. So I'm like, it's still on, people. It's still on here. So Rapsker is back. It's, it's ready for action there. And then I can swap it in and straight away go for the rest. So this time we went for Metro. I was going for a sheer cold here. And I got Flying Press. I was like, oh, that would have been perfect on a normal type Pokemon. The irony. Here comes the Hyper Drill. And that hits me right in the chest. And that's the end of Porm. I'm like, all right, this is... So, something has to happen here. We've, we've got like, what, three minutes of the battle left or something like that. So go back into the Rapscar. I know this is the sweeping run, but I wasn't giving up on this quest, people. I had to bring it back. So, I, all right. Well, I've got Trick Room. I've got Bug Buzz. But I need to go first here. So I went for the Trick Room, which would allow my Rabska, the, the Invincible Revival Blessing one, to go first. That was a really, really important thing. So I went for the Trick Room here. So I've got that going, which is good. I'm going to take some more Curse Damage here. But it's all good. The other Rabska can bring this Rabska back. And, you know, that in turn can bring my other Pokemon back, uh, hopefully. So here comes another hit from the Curse there. I'm like, all right, this is all good. Now I'm going to get hit by the Curse here. I'm going to swap it out, go back into the arm of the Rabska. I'll go through first and then I'll go for the rest right that'll be good like I don't want to lose any other health so they got paralyzed on that turn which is really really good here which is awesome so now my raps can go first and we've used up a couple of turns of trick room already so we get to the stage there by the time I swap in my poor mine again the um the trick room should almost be over, so I'll go, be going first. So I'll probably have, like, you know, maybe one turn. So this turn, I'm like, okay, we've got no more time here. We've got, like, a minute left. I'm not even going to go for the rest. I'm just going to go for Revival Blessing. And I lived it, and I got the Revival Blessing off. My final Revival Blessing here, people. Here it is. I've revived back Paul Mod again there. And now my Rabbiscar is going to faint to the uh, the sticky bar, people. It was very, very close. I would have gone for rest there if we didn't have such a... If we didn't have a 20-minute time, you know, I would have kept going with this song and dance. But that's the end of my Rapska, so no more Revival Blessings. That's the end of it, people. And here we go. We're going to bring in the big mighty Pormon here, people. And here we go, people. I've got my Thunder from Down Under. We have got 58 seconds left. So, 22 seconds. I can't read. I was like, alright, alright. All right, I'll roll a Thunder. I, I'll go for Thunder this time. You watch this. I was get This This was absolute soul pile. So, I went for the Thunder here. Dunsparce gets paralyzed, and uh, this hits really hard. Like, the next one takes it out. Here it comes, people. I'm so certain, right? This is going to take it out. So I press the A button for the Thunder, right, to, you know, to take it out. If it goes for whatever move, I can just bring Rapsker in and take it out. And the timer ran out when I pressed the A button. That is the most meanest, trolliest ending ever. I never want to do this team again. Peace out.